Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush, and today we're going to explore the config file, the configuration text file that lets you customize and control some of the ways that Tilt Brush works. Now this is going to work perfectly on the Windows-based headsets using Steam because we can get into the text documents. Steam, uh, the Tilt Brush actually in your documents folder will make its own folder called Tilt Brush. And this text file that I'm talking about is gonna be kept in here. Let's bring that on screen. So this is a configuration text file. Windows-based users, it's built into here. For people using the Quest, once you can plug your Quest into a computer via USB, this is not necessarily link. This is just a regular USB connection. When you open up your files and folders, the Quest has a folder called Internal Storage. Internal Storage. And in here, Storage. That's backward, isn't it? Storage. There we go. However you spell it, in the Internal Storage folder is a folder for Tilt Brush. Storage Tilt Brush. There we go, finally. And in here on the Quest is where it's kept. So on the Windows based, it's in your documents. On the Quest, it's in your internal storage. And in both places, it's just a plain ordinary text file called Tilt Brush CFG for configuration. C F G. You try doing this backwards. Tilt brush. So let's do it like this. Tilt brush C F G. Okay, there we go. So this is where the information is stored. This is a plain text file, so you could use Notepad or any other plain text program to work with it. The one that's already there looks like this. This is an example of the Tilt Brush configuration file. And it's got a few things. These curly brackets are how it puts out information. So you see everything starts with a curly bracket. Thank you. And then ends with a curly bracket. Even these inner pieces start with a curly bracket, end with a curly bracket. Everything gets closed as well as opened. Even quotation marks open and then close. So the whole plain text file lets you customize and control Tilt Brush. And by inserting, typing in information, you can modify the way Tilt Brush behaves. Everything's still going to follow these same patterns. Now at this point in time, I don't know of a way for PlayStation users to edit text files on their system. So this is specifically for Quest and Windows users. Here's an example of what it's going to look like once you've started putting stuff in here. So it's got the same pieces, user and video and flags and export, but now we're taking some more specific controls. Everything again is still open and close. Even our quotation marks, open and close, open and close. Each set controls a different thing. We're going to have a link in the comments to the actual Google release notes where they give you much more detail on your different options and what they control. But by putting them in here as text, the next time you start Tilt Brush, these effects will take control. So things like connecting directly to YouTube channels or Twitch channels can be done using this system. Now, if you've never done this kind of thing before, it can be kind of scary. You're not sure what's going to happen if you screw something up. In this case, because it's a text file, no matter how badly you make a mistake, it's not going to break Tilt Brush itself. Tilt Brush might screw up when you first turn it on, but if you go back into this folder and you just delete this file completely, or if you rename it instead of Tilt Brush CFG, I'm going to rename this guy not Tilt Brush CFG or Tilt Brush dot bad. Anything that's not the original file name. 
next time you start Tilt Brush, it'll automatically recreate the blank one from scratch. So no matter how badly you messed it up, you get a clean, sl uh, clean slate to start from. If you did indeed just the rename trick, or maybe you dragged it from documents out onto the desktop, either way, now I can go back and compare what happened to the other one, what do I need to change to make it work better. You never have to worry about permanently breaking Tilt Brush. Just throw that document away and you'll start from scratch, no harm, no foul. So this is the Tilt Brush configuration file found in either your documents or your internal storage slash Tilt Brush. Some of these things really get into the way your actual headset works. Some of these things actually get into the ways that your video output works if you're taking films, that type of thing. So if we look at some of these, it's got things like field of view and unlock scale so you can actually make things even bigger or smaller. Try out different settings to see which ones you like. If we look closely at these answers, all of the first parts are always in quotes. Make sure you both open and close all of those quotes, critically important. That's a common typo. Separating after the quote is a colon, two dots, shift colon, not the one with the comma, two dots. If you have more than one in the same group, a comma at the end so it knows to separate one option from the next. These are all common little typos, common mistakes to make as you're doing these types of code changes. The other common question is if we look at the second part, some of these guys, oops, let's put them back. Some of these guys are in quotes, stop moving around. Some of these guys are in quotes. Some of these guys are not in quotes, no quotes. Quotes. How can you tell the difference? Here's how. Anything that's just a regular, plain, ordinary number, like our 1920 or our 1280, those plain numbers don't need to be in quotes. Even if there's a decimal point, it's still just a plain number, no quotes required. If there are any letters at all, this one has letters as well as the numbers. This one has letters as well as numbers. Anytime you get the letters involved, you must use quotes. All of these ones with text all go in quotes, both an open quote, close quote, comma. Common typos is to re re forget any of those, in which case the whole thing falls apart. The only other time where quotes don't matter. You'll notice some of these are true and false. They're text, but the term we programmers like to use, this is a great word, it's called Boolean. Boolean. And that basically means there's only two possibilities. Yes or no, true or false zero or one, black or white. Boolean, or if I like to say, Boolean, is always one or the other. In our case, in Tilt Brush, it's always true or false. So you'll notice, show controllers true, we're always gonna see the controllers, even in the video output, that type of thing. Show headset true, always show the headset as a thing. So even if we do our camera sweeps around, if we're in view of the camera, it will show the headset, that type of thing. There's a much more detailed list on the actual Google release notes that we have linked in the comments below. But this is all stuff we're doing in the text config file in Tilt Brush. This is the basics that everybody automatically has. And by adding more details in here using Notepad or any other text program, we can take more control of Tilt Brush.
Don't feel like you have to. This is really getting to some more of the advanced type of stuff, but this is how we can now customize output, customize use, connect it directly to video channels, that type of thing. I hope this has been helpful and gives some people some good ideas of things to try while they're doing their tilt brush, especially in this time where people are connecting to each other over the internet. This gives you a way to directly connect during your headset session itself. If this has been helpful for you, let us know in the comments. Also, we do this all the time. Feel free to subscribe to our channel so that you are informed when new ones come out. We're also now just started a new series for the art program Sculptor VR. So whereas Tilt Brush is painting, Sculptor is about sculpting. Check that out if you like. Let us know what you think. Thanks for joining us. Have fun with Tilt Brush, everybody. We'll see you again.